It's time to bring in our social media reporter, Ayen Biyor. Take it away, Ayen. Well, thanks, Shaka. A number of radical and unprecedented political changes took place in Africa in 2017. African politicians are hailing these changes as a sign of democracy advancing. But analysts are often skeptical. Well, this leads us to our question of the week. So let's start the conversation with a tweet from Chagolan Shabi, who writes, it was not a good year for democracy. We witnessed the arrest of government critics, the banning of media, stopping political parties. And we have another tweet from Habat Nkula from Kampala in Uganda who agrees. He says, no, it was not a good year for democracy in Africa. In Uganda, the presidential age limit of 75 was scrapped to allow the three decades ruler, Yari Museveni, to continue at the helm. Burundi also changed their constitution to allow President Pierre Nkurunziza to rule until 2034. Well, now to our social media comment of the week from Facebook fan Marvin Kasuja, also in Kampala, Uganda, who writes, not in Africa as a whole, but in some countries, the rule of law was respected. Notable examples are Kenya's Supreme Court nullifying President Uhuru Kenyatta's first election win the ousting of former Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe without any violence and bloodshed and Liberia's peaceful presidential runoff. Well, let's go to another comment from Facebook fan Mohamed S. Mustafa from Freetown in Sierra Leone who writes, last year was not a good year for Sierra Leone where the president sacked the elected vice president. There was widespread corruption, human rights violations and political suppression fake promises, fake youth empowerment, poor health facilities, and no justice. We are counting down the time to the March 7th, 2018 election. We need better representation for our future generation. And now our last Facebook comment comes from Steven Sakor, who lives in Monrovia, Liberia. He's a bit more optimistic. He says, yes, 2017 was a good year for democracy because my country, Liberia, made it through. Our democracy was put to the test, but we overcame. And in 2018, we will see a smooth transition between outgoing President Ellen Johnson and President-elect George Weah. Well, on that positive note, a reminder that we appreciate all the audience feedback. If you're a new fan, drop us a line at africatv at voanews.com. To comment on our Facebook page, just enter the keywords Straight Talk Africa. Be sure to visit us online at voaafrica.com. To join our YouTube channel, just sign up to VOA TV to Africa. Follow us on Twitter at VOA Shaka. Straight Talk Africa streams live every Wednesday on Facebook or simply go to VOA's Straight Talk Africa TV program page on our website. To watch us live on your mobile device, download the VOA mobile app.